How you doing? Graham Lawler here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, what I do is I make homebrew kits and I review them. Today I'm going to be doing a Mangroves Jacks Roasted Stout. Um, I brewed this four weeks ago, then I force carbonated it a week ago for a video I did uh, on the channel. I had a few questions. Uh, and I did a tasting that day. I taste, tasted it that day, I tasted it the next day, and I thought it just wasn't quite ready. Uh, it was um, very, very hoppy. This kit, um, after seven days, you add in a little sachet, you get a little pouch of hops. So you add them in after seven days. They're like little pellets, like little wood pellets, and they dissolve into the brew. And then when you're uh, finished uh, your brewing and your uh, changing from your secondary into your keg or bottling it in my case it's a keg you see most of it is left behind they do say you can be left some in the bottles now you can put it in a little sack if you like but i have it here now on the 75 25 nitrogen co2 gas mix uh, i'll pull a point here now and we will do a review that glass has a little bit of wet on it, so I'm going to get a fresh glass. As you can see, she's pouring well. The, the nitrogen is the key here. It gives you a nice cascading effect, as you'd expect from a pint of stout. So the mangroves jacks, you get, it's in a pouch rather than a tin. So you get the bag of mangroves jacks. Uh, I added a uh, one kg of Young's beer enhancer. Then I added the 10 grams of M42 uh, strong yeast. And then after the seven days, there was a little pouch, as I said, 14 grams of Galena hop pellets. So the original gravity was 145 and it finished at 110. Um, so we'll give it a go here now. It still smells hoppy, um, hopefully that's not a bad thing, it smells very hoppy actually. Um, still has its nice creamy head anyway, nice nice white cream head. It does, um, it's not very dark, the, the stout itself is very dark, you, you can see through it. And you can tell why it's called roasted stout has a real burnt roasted smell off it um I'm sure here we go she's nearly settled now now you don't have to put this on a keg you can bottle it but i don't like fizzy stout when you bottle it and you add your sugars you do get your head it you know it does carbonate it but you can get a slightly fizzy stout i don't like fizzy stout Top her off. That looks like a nice point. I'll let that settle there. What I actually did as well today, it's bank holiday here, so I had my daughter Sarah who was actually doing the video. She does most of my videos for me. And then um, she wanted to try uh, making a kit with me. So what we did together was we did a St. Peter's cream stout. That is um it's a dark chocolate coffee kind of flavor and that also has a little bag of uh, pellets well not pellets it's actually just dust to be honest you mix it into it hopefully that'll turn out nice and that one is a 4.7 average kit we give this a, a go now It looks very dark, but the difference here in this now, if I hold up to the light, you probably can't see it there, but you can actually nearly see a red tinge through it, like you would in a, in a pint of Guinness. It's nice. Stick it to the glass. You most certainly can taste the hops. Now when I tasted it last week when I did the forest carbonation, it's amazing what happens to the stout just 
within another week of sitting there. Sitting there in the keg, the hoppiness isn't as strong. It's still there, mind you. For me, it's probably a little bit too hoppy. That's not to say I'm not gonna drink it. All in all, mangroves, jack, roasted stout, in my opinion, it's drinkable, but it's not, not up there with the Cooper's original. Definitely not. Or the Cooper's Irish, should I say. That was the best by far. This is a drinkable stout. If the rest of them taste like this, will I brew it again? Probably not. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe and enjoy the bank holiday weekend. Thank you.